I would have probably played the dart game a bunch, but I beat Wedge's score my second try, so... I think it was my second try. So that I just kept going. But I'd like to play it again, it's fun. I don't know where these boys are. Combat is very challenging, and I really like it a lot. I'm being, I'm getting more and more impressed with the combat the more I play it. At first, I thought it had some depth, but I was wondering how it would get more interesting. But the more I play it, the more I start to realize how much potential it has. It's gotta be, it's gotta be this way then. I've got this. Don't you mean we've got this? I love the sound effects, the whiff sounds. Tifa's my favorite character to play so far. Her move set is super fun. There we go, finally. Jeez. Going in. Sorry, but we're in a rush. Can't see anything. Take the lead. I'm coming. <laughs> Let's get serious. <laughs> you jittery? Another. Taking over. Get away from me. So it's my turn. You're burning up. I got this. Dude, Eris is so friggin' strong. It's insane. So long. Get him. Don't overdo it. I'll show you what I can do. Huh? A oh. bonus. <laughs> Home run! Dude, if you can get an enemy in the corner and just whack away. The home run stun lock. I have a great setup right now. Eris is just like the super magic caster, and Cloud's running around with a nail bat. It's perfect. I heard, I heard, you got them all, right? Robots from the reactor getting lost in the slums. Must be because of the explosion up top, huh? 
They must have thought they were protecting the reactor and figured I was trespassing on their turf or something. Maybe. Almost feel sorry for getting all lost and confused like that. Oh, what am I saying? Man or machine, Shinra bitches get what they deserve. Okay, calm down. Now hold on. <laughs> anyway, I think it's safe to say our work here is finished. Cloud's like, now hold on a second. If you're ever in the market for a Merc again, remember, you can count on Cloud. Uh, sure. And sorry about putting this on you all of a sudden. I'm really glad you were willing to help out, though. Thanks again. Actually, while you're here, I've got another favor to ask. There's this old guy who hangs out in front of the weapons shop. Is that him? Need your help. Would you mind talking to him? <laughs> is that him over there? Yeah, this is uh, this is PS4 Pro, uh, on a solid state, and yeah, it's pretty great. The load times are great. I I do kind of want to pop it in my PS4 upstairs. I have a a standard PS4 regular hard drive. I'd like to see what the differences are. Um, we did a test when Final Fantasy 15 came out, which Final Fantasy 15. PS4 Pro solid state still sucks with load times, but it's a lot less. I think we I think we found out it was like it was like 30 seconds on a PS4 Pro solid state to travel from one side of the map to the other, and it was like a minute and 15 on a regular PS4 hard drive. So it was more than double the time. I don't know if it'd be the same for this game or not. But it was like it was like more than double the load time. It was also over a minute, which is god awful, <laughs> in my opinion. I feel like I'm playing Wrath of Cortex. You know, it really, it really does. It really does. Uh, It really interests me the way that the NPCs work in this game. It's just it's such a stunning difference playing this game after playing a game like Final Fantasy 13 3. It's really interesting to think about. Like the NPCs in that game were just the absolute worst. The, to go from that game to this game is one of the biggest, like, shocks, you know? Hey, buddy. What you got there? Emily. Oh. Because he got that Easter one and they didn't fit in the cover anymore. <laughs> I had to bring some down. Enjoy, that's one of my favorites. How to Train Your Dragon. What? For him. I said I don't like it. I know, but I did. It's one of my faves. Okay. <laughs> Enjoy. I I love that movie, but I can understand why you don't. I don't understand why you don't like that movie, but I can understand why you don't like where the wild things are. It's a weird one. <laughs> uh. So yeah, like. If I, if I created a game company, you know, Darth Unity Bus Productions, um, and I wanted to teach my programmers how to program an NPC, I would make them play Final Fantasy XIII 3, and then make them play this directly after. It's like the perfect lesson in how to do NPCs correctly. Because in 13.3, they make every NPC so over the top annoying. And I, I don't, I still, to this day, I still don't understand why. I feel like they wanted them to be memorable. So they made them like, just super annoying and loud and, and just, you can't forget them because they're so ridiculous. And they wear these absolutely absurd outfits. And they have those stupid grill glasses that we used to wear in high school to pretend like we were cool because LMA... What was that band? LMAFAO? Roar? 
the grill glasses in their in the that one uh, music video, and so everyone started wearing the grill glasses. They ever all the care all the NPCs wear those stupid glasses, and they're just like loud and obnoxious and stupid. And then in this game, they're like likable, and they make you do things that actually affect the community. And when you like they have sec they second guess themselves, and they have you know qualities to them that you can actually stick to and it's like it's it's such it's such a difference it's crazy it just blows my mind square learned something oh i know you you must be that mercenary i have a problem it's the anniversary of my wife's death and i wanted to visit her grave but I can't because some creatures have turned the graveyard into their nest. Could you do me a favor and go there in my stead? She shouldn't be alone today. It'll cost you. That's fine, that's fine. The graveyard's right by the head of the river. But I heard they put a new gate in recently to replace the old broken one. Now that those creatures have moved in, I'm sure it's locked up tight. Didn't we buy a graveyard key off Moggy? I think we did. My point exactly. <laughs> My point exactly. I should I should honestly read off some of the uh, some of the side quests from thirteen three. In this quest, we're visiting an old man's wife's grave because he can't. In Final Fantasy 13, we travel across the entire planet looking for a dog just to realize that the character had the dog the entire time. <laughs> or we're collecting fireworks to shoot at a building to knock the building over so we can walk across the building in order to get to another building. That was the quest. That was a main quest in 13.3. Not a side quest. That was a main quest. <laughs> like the difference is, is appalling. Yeah, not to mention as part as part of that as part of that firework display, you had to one of the one of the firework salesmen got his fireworks stolen, so you had to you had to get them back. You had to get three fireworks from a monster, give the three fireworks to the fireman salesman or the firework salesman. Then he shot off like ten fireworks and gave you five fireworks because you saved three of his fireworks. That <laughs> game was such nonsense. <laughs> Ooh. Going in. Big monsters. Venom Mantis. That's it right. A subspecies of the grass trike. Oh, I still don't have ice. I need to get ice. Switch it up. Here goes. Here goes. Try using it. I'm oh, come on. It's not here. Go on. Ew, you got webs all over my ward. I'm waiting. How's this? Yeah. Oh, come on. Ouch. 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 Help. Help. Let's do this. I see you. Come on, attack me. Going in. 
Oh my god, it did a thousand damage on its own because of the crit. It did as much damage as a graver. After you. Sure. However I can help. Okay. Stop it! Okay, okay. That hurt. Just go away. Oh my god, I'm slowed and I'm poisoned and I'm asleep. I'll do what I can. That's it. I'm waiting. That's me. You're still doing okay, right? Oh no. Come on, you can do it. Get him. Yeah, it still counters. That was that move that did a thousand damage because I crit on my counter. We we're both asleep. This is the problem. No. Oh. oh my god, the sleep. Stay strong, okay? What's up, R and How's it going? Open. All right. Please knock over. Never mind. I'll end this. Don't die to poison in the middle of this. I almost did. I almost died of the poison in the middle of that attack. Fight through it. Am I not gonna die? Still in it. Maybe poison can't kill you. Please die. Don't move. Yeah, I don't think poison can kill you. I can't believe that worked. That was amazing. You're done. Home run! This must be it. Hey, do you want to say a prayer too? No thanks. I think you've got it covered. Yeah, dude, I honestly really like the, the home run bat. Gotta get those materia slots though. 1 HP challenge, rest of the game, you're on. I'm really grateful for what you did. Here's your reward. I owe him a lot. Maybe more than I can ever repay. And now, I owe you a lot too. I know it's not much, but I hope it makes up for it a little bit. We paid our respects to your wife. And we took care of those creatures. Oh, that's such a relief to hear. I can't tell you how much it was weighing on my mind. I was beginning to think I might never be able to visit her grave again. With my bad back and my legs, my whole body's a mess, frankly. I... I didn't think I could make it past the creatures. But I was prepared to die trying. And then you two came along. Still, I've got to face facts. Creatures or no, I can't keep making these trips. Don't say that. This is the graveyard key. Run it back to Moggy. But I just told you about my legs. <laughs> Why don't you just give it back? Okay. It'll cost you 5,000 gil. 5,000? It's always money with you people. <laughs> I got any time to lose. I won't ask you for anything else. I'll take your damned key and give it to the boy. Oh, it's downright depressing. What is the world coming to these days? Mission complete! I'm surprised Eris didn't like get mad at me. Grinch Cloud. I was thinking about talking to him again. I will. 
say. You're a real dick, you know that? <laughs> but on the bright side, it seems he's all fired up again. That's what I was trying to do. Money. That's all you kids think about. Not a whit of generosity or selflessness. I may as well keep working till the day I die. <laughs> oh, don't get, look at Cloud's face. I don't give a crap. Maybe it's not too late for kids to learn that life's about more than just money. Customer satisfaction. Money. That's, I may as well keep working till the day I die. I don't know if you knew, but he used to offer free lessons to all the street kids in the neighborhood. And yeah, I was one of those street kids. Yeah, well now you're just a scared man. Heard you've taken out your fair share of monsters. Take care of my equipment, you hear? No. I'd rather use a bat that some kid gave me. When I was young. How's it going, Marsh? Uh, you wouldn't happen to be a certain merc that's become the talk of the town. Yeah, the weapon vendor yep. still is in a van, just I like in the original. Little more than a humble reporter with the daily buzz. Uh, that rag? The one that's always printing awful rumors about the slums? Yeah, you tell him, Aerith. On the contrary, my dear. We strive to raise awareness of the plight of our undercity brethren. We seek a better future for everyone, rich and poor. Now then, my friends, I find myself in need of your exceptional services for a trifling matter. Can I kill this guy? A mysterious and notorious bandit known as the Angel of the Slums. <laughs> she delivers written declarations to her victims, usually Shinra associates, before divesting them of their valuables. Everyone knows her. Everything she steals, she gives to the poor and needy. That's her! Yes, she's on that <laughs> Did you see? <laughs> that girl... <laughs> that girl came running, and I was like, that's her, and she immediately turned around and started running the other way. Regulations. <laughs> Very popular down here as a result. Nevertheless, she is a criminal and a threat to the public order. I've made it my mission to unmask the villain, but the locals have been uncooperative and uncommunicative, to put it mildly. Now that my identity as a reporter has been exposed, my sources have all deserted me. Which brings me to you, the work of the hour, and the man who will serve up my scoop. I'll welcome any and all information pertaining to the so-called Angel of the Slums. Yeah! It's always a pleasure to speak with those charming little ones from the Lee House. Why, hello! What is it? The guardian angel of the slums? Such a mysterious figure. Always talked about, but never seen by anyone. The angel gets in and out without being noticed and always leaves a calling card. Maybe a magician. No, no, it's no magic trick. It's genuine magic. Rumor has it that the angel is a witch. If we're going by rumors, then I've heard that it's actually a monster in disguise. Well, I could talk all day about the dozens of stories I've heard. Are you done talking? Okay. What? Do I know the guardian angel of the slums? Well, I don't know much, but I do know she doesn't steal from the poor, and she doesn't kill anyone either. As far as I'm concerned, she's that's Batman. All I need to know. If that's not enough for you, the one you ought to talk to is Marie. Ask anyone, and they'll tell you she knows everything about everyone around here. Give me and tell me who that is. Oh, these two guys look similar. Is that your brother? What is that, a book about Shinra? Shinra book? Looks interesting. Sorry. I'm like, I'm looking around, I'm like, okay. This character is must look different than all the other characters. We got old guy, 
Old guy, cleaning guy, old guy, cleaning guy, old guy, old woman, old guy, and then I'm like, whoa! <laughs> that's, that's a bit different. <laughs> Good to see you again, Murray. Good to see you too, Aerith. I'd heard you found yourself a funny new friend. I'm funny, what about you? Meet Murray. She knows everything there is to know about She looks like a, a Moogle. Murray, she looks like a right. human Moogle. He's a former soldier and super strong. Mm, he looks useful enough. The kids have been talking about you. <laughs> the defender of the secret It's item. It's Stiltskin. Or Slitskin. How do you say his name? Is it is it Stiltskin or Slitskin? Isn't it? Is it Slitskin? I was thinking in my head it was Stiltskin. But the, yeah, the the um yeah stiltskin he's the the male guy that delivers the moogle mail in final fantasy 9 so that's, that's what she looks like in the daily buzz look for the angel of the slums i am <laughs> i'm a lover of the whispered word not that it's any real secret considering how chatty that shinra mutt's been not looking into it for the reporter I'm doing it for myself. Call it curiosity, whatever. Or could it be you've fallen under the angel's spell like so many others? Yeah, that's what it is. Anyway, it so happens that I have some information for you. But I'll need a moment before I can give it to you. Why don't you wait with that reporter of yours? Well, I don't want the reporter to know. Oh my god, look at all the stuff she's got. She's got some, like, some spinny thing. She's got, like, a... A big sack of something. She like handcuffs, some thread. Oh wait, that's not. That's like a a pulley system. I really hope this character is more than just this side quest because she is incredibly interesting. I thought we'd put those days of war so, and death any news? us. Have you tried but talking move, to Mireille at all? Move on. She told us that she has some information to share. Mireille? As in THE Mireille? The town gossip? I chased her for days begging for info, but she wouldn't give up a single scrap! So how'd you get the old bird to talk? This old bird had a change of heart, that's all. Then quickly, before you have another, tell us! What do you know about the notorious angel of the slums? Has she struck again? Is that it? I don't know anything about that, but I do know where her hideout is. Her base of operations? Now that's a scoop! Where is it? Tell me! Deep in the scrap, at Lookout Point. Hardly anyone goes out there these days. It's the perfect place for a criminal to hold up. Lookout Point! Got it! I'll check it out right now! He's dead. But before you go, I should warn you about this rumor I heard. About a terrible fiend that's claimed the angel's hideout as its lair. Oh, quite large. Lots of teeth. Always hungry. I don't know about you, but I'd not go anywhere near that thing. Uh, well, uh... Well, a good reporter knows never to take foolish risks. And the plan first, then act. It's gonna be geezered fodder. If it's a plan you're looking for, I'd say you have one right here. Thank <laughs> you. So, my good mercenary, if I might impose upon you again, it would be lovely if you investigated Lookout Point for me. Where's the, uh... I want my money! Hmm? Take the bat. Honestly, Cloud asking for money is like twice as funny with the bat. I need him I need him to take out the bat and kinda like put it in his hand and be like, Where's my money? <laughs> How's it going, Fab? Dude, I should cosplay as that reporter guy. I don't, all I need is like a hat and a and a suit. I'd be perfect. No money, no kneecaps. You got a choice.
Uh, I was using the mini map before. I think I accidentally turned it off. Oh, it's back. What's up, simple? I'm doing great, man. How you doing today? <laughs> it's true. Cloud is kind of like a few a few bucks away from being a thug. <laughs> Like, there's a thin line between Merc and Thug, and he's he's riding it. It's good, though, honestly, because I think Cloud was a little bit too nice at the beginning of the game. He has kind of a, a weak side for Tifa. But now that Tifa's not around, he's, he's getting tougher. Which is good, because he should be in, in Midgar. He really shouldn't be Nice Boy Cloud yet. Not bad. Uh, other way, right? No. I'm gonna save it another slot just for safety. I'm saving the same slot the whole time. I'm having second thoughts. <laughs> I, I'm not seeing the teeth, though. I, I think she made that up. Punch through. Right. We gotta hurry. <laughs> oh man. That probably did not feel too good. Show you what I can do. Ha! One more shot. Needs more magic. Ha! Stay back. Ew! Oh, ha! silence me. Here it comes. This one's for you. Ha! Bring it. Too bad. Normally, attacks do not affect its stagger gauge, but inflicting a certain amount of physical damage does make it susceptible to staggering. Okay. Oh, I didn't want to hit the spear. Let's switch it up. Sure. However, I can help. Sorry, but you handle it. Whack. Nice, I already learned this order. Dude, that spear is big annoying. Wow. One more shot. That was some damage. Can you handle them? Great. Just, just go away. I keep locking onto the sphere. I do not want to attack the sphere. It's pressured. It's not getting any uh any bigger bar though. Not really getting many crits either. Sorry. Is he? Ooh. 
Let's switch it up. I'll take care of them. Tagging out. To heal up. Oh my god, that damage. So long. Pushing it. I like how it shows when your spells are gonna wear out. Go on. Very nice. Why don't you lead the way? Cloud, you need to take him away from here. You've got this. I got this. Too bright? You got this. I got this. Not looking good. After you. So it's my turn? That's it. Man, my ward finally wore out after all this time. It up. Here goes. That'll do. Steady. Try using it. Get him. Bring it. I like. I think Soul Drain will work. I got two. Go on. Can you take I got a better over idea. And catch. Yeah. How shocking. See ya. Okay, then. I guess we should look around. Help! 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 <laughs> the guardian angel of the slums will collect your offering on behalf of the poor. This must be one of her calling cards. I don't see anything else interesting. Let's head back and tell him what we found. Nothing interesting. What about all this? Oh, that's interesting. Look at that. Look at TV. Who's my favorite boss? Um, Airbuster was a pretty incredible boss. That boss was crazy. Reno was also super fun to fight, but I don't know if he's really a boss. He was pretty easy. I, I don't know. I wouldn't say easy. Reno, Reno gave me a lot of hope that the newer, like, later bosses will be incredibly fun. Because... Like, Reno and Shiva both had these really cool gimmicks that actually made their fights, like, unique. Uh, Shiva had the, uh, the orbs that if you tried to shoot fire at them while they were up, they would block. They would block one spell, but she would also use them in her attacks. And then Reno had those, those, uh, electric orbs that you had to kill or else they would zap you and like interrupt your attacks it was cool yeah Shiva was super fun she was really cool and had some cool gimmicks and had like she had she had a move that she she had a move that you could dodge she had a move that you needed to block and then she had a move that you needed to block and then dodge so there was a lot of like learning in her fight which was awesome. It reminded me of Kingdom Hearts a lot, where you actually need to like learn her moves and react accordingly. Even though, like I said before, this game isn't necessarily a reactionary game as much. It's not about 
pressing a button right before the attack to get a perfect block or whatever, but you de do need to actually pay attention to what they're doing. It reminds me a lot of turn-based RPGs where an enemy will do something like put its tail up and then if you attack while its tail's up it'll counter or it has like a charge animation and then when it's charging you need to get ready because the next turn it's going to use some really big attack. It's the same kind of thing with that where you need to be paying attention to what the enemies are doing. And that's the number one most important thing about action RPGs that makes them fun is that if you need to pay attention to what the enemies are doing that's what makes it fun. If you don't then you're just spamming your buttons and it's not fun. But if you need to be paying attention to what the enemy is doing and react accordingly, that's what that's where action RPGs get depth. And this game is doing it really, really well with certain fights like Reno, Shiva, and Airbuster. And even some of the regular enemies as well. And like that, that hedgehog pie fight that I got wasted in because I wasn't paying attention to what the hedgehog pies were doing. And every single time I tried to heal, I got smacked by a fire and my heal got cancelled. And that's why I died. So, uh, you know, I got punished because I wasn't paying attention to what the Hedgehog Pies were currently doing. So, I'm really impressed with it so far. You know, one little, uh, one little detail that I like. I like how the music doesn't get quieter when you pause. Like, if you want to listen to the music, you can pause and get, like, just the music with no sound effects. And also, if you pause and walk away and come back, it's not like quiet. I can't believe it! You found one of her calling cards! This is the genuine article, I'm sure of it! Pinned by the angel herself! Hmm. So this is one of her famous warnings. It's an incredible find! Oh, was that all? Hold on. Looks like there's something else. A message. To the nosy Shinra reporter sniffing around, I was planning to teach you a lesson you would never forget. However, by the grace of your mercenary friend, you were spared that lesson. Okay, wait, how... How'd she write all this? If... We were standing right there. When, how did she write it all and then put it there? What? But next time he might not be around to save you. You would be wise to watch your step. Not just a message from the angel. A warning. If the merc here hadn't bailed you out, that fiend in the scrap would have ripped you to shreds. Sorry about that, friend. Here I was, just trying to help you out. But instead, my kindness almost got you violently killed. Now, now. No harm, no foul, right? In any case, I hope this narrowly averted tragedy won't discourage you from sharing information with me in the future. Hey everybody! The angel left another calling card! She's gonna rip off Don Corneo! It's about damn time! Don Corneo's no easy mark! I can't wait to see how this goes down! Excuse me, the Don boys. The, Daily and... the Don Here, why don't you take this? Oh, and no need to thank me. Let's just say it slipped out of that reporter's bucket. <laughs> Can't call it theft if you're just claiming what you're owed. Am I right? I knew it! Well done, Mr. Merck. You certainly lived up to your reputation. I knew it. She's the angel. I knew it. We probably ought to call it a day. Getting late, huh? Bring me to the dawn. You've dome. been working so hard you lost track of time. Had to. The pace sucked. Because they didn't know if you were worth it yet. But now they do. Come on, let's go home. Wait, is that the last side quest? Oh, it is. I thought I had one more. Okay. Uh, yeah, we have everything done. It's time for the wall market, boys. It's time for the dawn. Bring me the dawn. So this is probably our optional uh, for doing all the quests. Hello, Aerith. 
Well, maybe not. What do you want? Also, I haven't seen him before. He your new boy toy? Okay, okay. Sorry, I'm sorry. Sorry to pause during the cutscene. His voice? Hello? It's incredible. He's my bodyguard, if you must know. Wait a minute. Those eyes. Is he the one who beat up Reno? And what if I am? Need to cross my T's, dot my I's, that's all. Cloud, leave him be. Rude's not a bad person, really. No, I'm not bad. But like it or not, I sometimes have to do bad things. Aw, oh, Root is so cool, dude. Don't take it personal. <laughs> you Turks are all the same. All bark, no bite. You're one to talk. Oh man, he even has the same fighting stance. Those little hops. Ow. Alright. No. Also the song. I got your note. I could poison him. I see you. I'm coming. <laughs> I love how during the fight or during the cutscene. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> during the attack, I was able to switch to Aerith. That was really cool. But then he freaking threw Cloud into me. That was incredible. I'm trying, but I can't. So. Ow, 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 ow. Come on. Good morning, Let's guys. <laughs> Good morning. Smack! Shit. Got more glasses. No, I don't believe that I have. <laughs> oh my god, he's so cool. You can't. It's my job. Then think about changing careers. Ouch. Why don't you take a nap? No. So I got this. Oh no. I can't stop this. Aerith's asleep. Oh. Cloud's pretty strong, isn't he? Hmm. I've seen this type before. You don't know me. You can do it. My turn. You jittery? My turn. Yes. Go on. How's that payback going to help? Oh, better than expected. Stop it. No holding back. Ow, can't block that. Gotta be careful. No, but this is self-defense. Let's try that again. This me. Let's do this. Ow. Can't dodge that. Here goes. This is gonna hurt. Dude, that attack. Stay back here. Keep eyes. Taking over. Open. Enough. Dang. I 
won't give up. Any time. Oh, that's luck. No! Oh my god, he just DDT'd me a mile. needed on standby for a job and something about Sector 7. So get your ass back here now. Understood. Got somewhere else to be? Apparently so. Go home and stay there. You know I can't do that. Dude, Root is perfect. <laughs> Root is a hundred percent perfect. This might be the optional thing. So, you coming? Yeah. Well, I'd come faster, but the game won't let me. There we go. There's some material up here. Is it cover? No, nah, we saw our house before. Uh, you talking to the? Shh. So yeah, it was that kind of day. Keep mom waiting. Hey, what'd they say? Good work today, guys. Kidding. They didn't say a word. But, you know... Uh, never mind. It's not like you'd believe me, after all. Hmm. Probably not. Tell me anyway. Really? Yeah. It won't be much longer now. The flowers, they... They have something important to tell us. Something they... Need to share with us. At least, that's the feeling I get. But, before they can... There's a final step that has to be taken. Otherwise, we won't hear them. Mm. 
Maybe I should just give up. Honestly, it's what I do best. Could have fooled me. From what I've seen, you're no quitter. Well, today's special. That's why I've been working my butt off. Uh, what's so special about it? <laughs> okay, time to go. Learn to talk to her. Did the flower say anything? Uh, good work today, guys? <laughs> That's the spirit. That face when character development. MP up. I'll take it. Yeah, like I said, it's so good because, like, they can't make Cloud too likable because of the way his story arc is. But they're doing such a great job of making him almost likable. Like, they, they're giving him little... I mean, he is likable, but they're giving him little flashes of likability. And then he goes back to being hard merc. And then flashes of likability. And then hard merc. So they're doing a really great job of balancing his character. You're heading in already? Also, nerd! <laughs> yeah. That's enough for one day. Where have you two been? I've been worried sick. Sorry. We got a little sidetracked. Dinner's ready, in case you're wondering. Ah, great. But before we sit down, I want you to make up the guest room. Gotcha. Take a load off, okay? Yeah, let me just put down my bat with nails in it. <laughs> Judging by those eyes, I'm guessing you're a soldier. Ex-soldier. I hate to ask, but would you leave tonight without any fuss, no questions? You boys made a trade, a normal life, for power. You can't have it both ways. I'm back! Good! Now, I hope you're hungry. Starving, right? Uh. <sighs> I've never been so proud. The man you've become? Women must be hounding you day and night. Not really. You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big city. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl. One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. I can take care of myself. An older, more mature girl. I could keep you on the straight and narrow. And tell you when you're being a silly goose. That's the perfect type for you, I'd say. <laughs> Claudia. That was great. That was like exactly like the the scene. Hmm. Don't want to overstay my welcome. Cloud's mom, cute, cute mom. Pictures of flowers. Is that my purse? I almost forgot it. 